switching. Cool. Um, so I've been playing on a team for... Uh, it's been like... Since Overwatch 2, I've been playing on the team for like five months. I've played on and off through Overwatch 1, but... Uh, that's kind of like... I started getting better when I played on the team because I was getting like coaching and like advice and stuff and yeah. I saw myself improving and that made me want to get better because I was getting better. Sure. So yeah, that's kind of where I ended up here. Okay. And Sounds then also, good. oh yeah, also you coached my coach. Uh, I think it was about a month ago now, give or take. Okay. Cool. Wait, wait and who was it? He had good things to say. Uh, Travis. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah. Cool. So he had very good things to say and well, good. I'm glad helped him that. out. So I thought that would be good too. All right. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, so how long have you been playing the game? You said you've been playing it for quite a while. Since release. Yeah. Since release. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. On and off, but yeah. Yeah. What, what, what brings you on and what brings you off when it, when it comes to Overwatch? Um, okay. So initially I started playing it when it came out uh, because it was a big thing. It looked fun. It was fun. And mm -hmm. then at some point, the kind of friend group I was playing with, we started playing Siege. Mm -hmm. Then I got really into that. And then around when Overwatch 2 was releasing, because then I was playing like Overwatch every now and then when I was bored more or less mm -hmm. and playing Siege for the most part because I was getting better at that one and, you know, playing that more competitively. And I don't know, at some point Siege kind of started dying in the sense that it kind of, the, the whole way the game was just kind of deteriorated and turned into something that was different than what I initially started playing. Makes sense. And that kind of stopped enjoying it as much. And around then is also when Overwatch 2 came out. So I was like, you know, let me go back to this. And kind of felt, I liked the 5v5 a lot better. It felt more fluid and it felt more like I had a more direct impact. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. And I liked not shooting at shields for 45 <laughs> minutes. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You're not alone in that one. And you are so, a yeah. high skill DPS main. <laughs> yeah, kind Point of. Point and shoot tracer. <laughs> Okay, how long yes, have you been basically. involved in that? So, Tracer specifically is pretty recent, like Overwatch 2 specifically recent. Um, I don't really think I played her much at all, Overwatch 1, okay. and now she's my most played. Uh, Overwatch 1, I was actually an off-tank player, mm -hmm. and uh, I also played some like Widow Genji hitscan stuff. Mm -hmm. And then Overwatch 2 came out, and... I decided to trial for some teams and part of trialing for the teams was playing Tracer and I had a lot of fun. So I got coaching and I got better at Tracer and Tracer is just one of those characters that I really enjoy playing. Okay. Makes sense. Makes Along sense. Along with others, but you know, that's my most played currently. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what do you have to get out of the session? At least at the time of the forum, you said, I want to get information on what I should focus on improving in game and how to implement. Now, yeah, so I that's kind of chunky, but mostly my issue is to put it in a little bit more like reasonable terms is a lot of the time I know what I need to work on, but I find myself having a difficult time actually working on it when I'm playing a lot of the time. That is one of the Give issues I have. And then Okay, so for example, I have had an issue of playing cover on specifically Tracer and Sombra, but just generally uh for a while now. And I don't know if it's that I'm not consciously thinking about it enough or what it is, but like I'll watch a VOD, I'll VOD myself and I'll be like, wow, I'm not playing cover at all. And then I'll play a comp game and I'll tell myself this comp game, I'm going to play behind cover. And I kind of feel like I'm doing it and then I'll VOD it and I'm like, I'm not doing it at all. And I don't know if that's uh, me not thinking about it in the right way or what it is, but that's a, that's a specific example. It's like sometimes I just can't feel myself unless it's something very specific like micro tips. I had kind of like, especially macro stuff, I have a hard time implementing in my uh, like games. Gotcha. Why do you think that is? Any guesses? I'm, ass I'm assuming it's something to do with me not consciously thinking about it the entire time, but I'm not actually entirely sure, honestly. Okay. I do, have you improved, have you played any other, uh, I guess you said you said Siege, but have you played um, any other games besides Siege prior to this? Oh uh, yeah, I've played quite a few. I've played, you know, CS, Overwatch, sure. uh, Siege. Sure. We've gotten mostly shooters, but plenty. sure, mostly shooters. Okay, so how do you get better at any of the skills at those games? Um, I just honestly, I just played the game a lot. 
for okay. the most part. Okay. Okay. Because it's the repetition. You do something over and over yes. and over again. You, you improve. Exactly. It. Yeah. So why? Mm-hmm. What? What's the point of coaching then if you can just play your way to a higher rank? Uh, well, I guess in those games, I never really got to the point where I couldn't play my way to the higher rank. You know. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And I'm so, kind of getting hitting that wall now. I see, I see. So, so what do you hope to get from me? Just some I- new ideas or direction or what? Uh, yeah. Okay. Basically, yeah, new ideas and direction. That would makes be sense. Makes exactly, sense. yeah. And that that's what I would call teaching, if that makes any sense. Yeah. All right. What I would call coaching is maybe not exactly telling you anything new, but staying on your butt about it, providing you structure, keeping you on it, helping you to improve. Now, yeah, this is where sense. you need to be your best coach because this, uh, trust me, this is all going to tie into the cover thing. Just hang tight. Um, yep, I believe you. <laughs> you have a problem learning a skill that you don't need to be taught the importance of. You're aware of the importance of it. And not only are you aware of the importance of it, you're aware that it's a problem with you, but you're having a hard time being able to improve at it. And, and the, yes. the way to improve it, at least in terms of like the short term, is to focus on it and to just constantly be thinking about it every fight every game, every round, every scrim, every ranked game is to be thinking about mm-hmm. your cover usage. Now, gotcha. that will fix it in the short term. The question is, is what fixes things in the long term? If you were to dribble a basketball, you might be very bad at it, or it might be very good, I don't know. But like, let's say you were bad at it and you'd have to dribble and dribble. And you'd have to think about the technique, yeah? Yeah. But the more that you think about the technique, the better you get, no? That's true, yeah. But it does demand you to think about it at the start. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, here's a question. If you were to jump into a pickup basketball game and try to focus on your dribbling, how would you play in that game? Yeah, you'd play like dog shit. You'd, that's fair. But, but that's okay. Yeah, you exactly. Because you're getting better at dribbling. I see so, what you're saying. So yeah. your problem is that you pro- it sounds like if you're still having a lot of issues with cover, it's probably because you don't give it enough focus in game. And the reason you don't give it enough focus in game, there's a couple of different options. And they might be a combination of these. It might be that... Uh, it's never you don't know how to like remind yourself and keep yourself focused in game it might be that you try but you just get bored with the macro stuff like the macro stuff isn't as fun right playing cover isn't like exactly a fun thing to focus on um it might be that you lose focus when you realize that like bro we're gonna lose this game i need to focus on what i need to do to win this game right um any of those or all of those could be reasons why you're having a hard time improving your cover yeah the other thing to keep in mind... I'm going to guess mind, it's option one and three, by the okay, way. Just okay, okay. So, you're, so you kind of get distracted. You don't know how to keep focused and, and like you get focused on winning the game. The other option is as well as that... Uh, not option, but the other nuance yeah. to this as well is that everything is on a spectrum, right? Like how, mm-hmm. many, how many Overwatch League players do you think are co- perfect with cover usage? Yeah, none of them. Not, not a single one. And a lot of them actually are like can get pretty sloppy with it, right? Um, yeah, I yeah. am. But, but like the point being is that for you is that maybe your cover usage is a problem. It's a problem for everybody. But is how much of a major problem is it, I guess? You kind of see what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Kitty okay? Oh, yeah, she's fine. She was just... Yeah. My, my, mine's, always, mine's always yelling in the background when I do my thing. And I'm always like... It, just for no reason. Like, there's just no reason whatsoever. Um, she just wanted to leave. That's it. And then she's going to bug me to get back in. Yeah, uh, leave the room. Really and then in a minute, she's going to bug me to come oh, back in. Oh, my gosh. Okay, but, so, you know, so true story. So my parent, my, um, my in-laws, my, my wife's parents will stay. And they're, they're crazy. I love them to death, but they're crazy. They get up at like 5 o'clock in the morning. So I'm like sound That's asleep. How my mom is. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, screw that. I'm closing the door, you know, the bedroom door, because like I don't want the yeah, light yeah. and that whatever. Well, the problem is with that is like as you said, is we start having in and out and in and out and in and out. I'm just like, mm-hmm. ah, it's all right. Well, I guess I'm not sleeping. Um, but yeah, speaking of kitty, <laughs> I've got one that's rubbing up against me right now. So on the lap. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so I think for you it's, it's like finding how to actually focus. Now, how do you okay? Here, here, here's where I'm open the floor to you again. How do you think you mm-hmm. keep yourself focused? How do you remind yourself to think about cover in the middle of the game? How do you do that? Um, the way I've done it in the past, but this is also, like I said, more micro stuff that's really easy to think about, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I, I have a little, like, stick, you know, the sticky note app. Yes. I just put one of those on my second monitor. Sure. Granted, I don't, I'm, I'm at home for the summer, but yeah. I don't okay. have a second monitor right now. Yeah. But 
generally I'll just put a sticky note on my second monitor and I'll just, every time I die, I'll look at it. Sure. Accessible and visual. And it'll remind me. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Any other guesses, even if things that you haven't actually tried, but maybe things that you've heard of or may want to consider. Um, the only other thing that I had thought of that would be good is literally just constantly thinking about it, if that makes sense. But I sure. don't really know if that's reasonable because if I constantly think about only cover, I think, well, actually that comes back to the basketball thing. So yeah, that's probably sure a good idea. You got, it, yeah. it is at least a yeah, good idea. Yeah, that comes back to the basketball thing. Yeah, and that's probably a good idea. It's something to aim for because if you autopilot on your other skills, cause you're thinking about cover, you are going to underperform, but you're not going to underperform as much as you should because so many of your other skills are autopiloted, right? We need to start yeah, autopiloting. Yeah. We need to get your cover upgraded so it's autopilot is a little bit better. That's something that I always yeah. bring up. Autopilot is not the enemy. Je everything being autopiloted is the enemy, right? That for improvement, right? We want we want most yeah, yeah. of our skills being autopiloted. One being the specific aspect uh, that we're that we're working on. Um, I would recommend something maybe like a phone timer every 15, 20 minutes if you're really struggling. One little underrated tip that I've kind of been working on recently that I, I recommend to everybody is I really, really recommend taking quick 30 second, even just minute long breaks. Between. Um, okay. Because it takes effort and focus and attention to be able to do that. And if you're constantly like requeuing, requeuing, using deathmatch, vax, or whatever between queues, mm -hmm. then you're not going to have as much energy as you ought to to be able to focus as much as you ought to in the middle of a game. That kind of makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. So I, w I would recommend trying to do that as best as you can, and just going into it every day. And also, be don't be. Um, I have a, a little bit of an analogy here. I remember the worst days for me in, in high school football were when our coach and I loved him to death, but would say, "All right, guys, line up for sprints." Right. And yeah. the worst days were because we did that every practice, right? But the worst days were when we didn't know how many sprints that we had to do. Now, yeah, that's fair. That meant at least three quarters of the kids would be like not running as fast as they could. They'd be saving it, right? Because they didn't know how many sprints yeah. they had to do. And then there were tryhards like myself that were like, you know, the good kids. And we'd be sprinting as hard as we could. And we'd be like dying after like three or four. Like I remember my arms would go numb. Like I would be sprinting so hard, be so tired, right? But it was, it was psychological agony because you didn't know how many more you had to do. It could have been three. It could have been two. It could have been 12, right? And you didn't know. So for you... When you're talking about like, oh, I need to work on my cover usage. Don't just be like, oh, I'm working on my cover usage. For how long? For how many games? Yeah. A day? Two yeah, days? Yeah. One day? How about just the first two games of every day? You just focus mm -hmm. only on your cover. You do that for a week. Yeah. And you let the rest of the games just do whatever you want or focus on something else. Yeah, yeah. You know? I think like, I'm not trying to like cater to the ADHD brain here, but like it, it, I do think it's unreasonable to like only – real one thing and nothing but that one thing for long periods of time without losing the intensity and focus. Because the problem is then if it gets boring or hard to focus on, then it's not worth practicing. Yeah, that's fair. You know, because you're not giving it the intensity that it deserves to actually improve. So that's what I would recommend. I, I would I would give it, even if it's just one, this first game every day, you are hard focused on your cover. And every, nothing else matters but cover. And then the rest of the day you play however, and you just do that for a week or two. I think you'll see some improvement. Won't be major but you will see some improvement and you'll yeah, see some improvement is, in your autopilot. That's the, real yeah, thing. which is, which is, yeah, which is what I was about to say. That's like the, the one thing that is the big deal right yep. now. Yeah. Minor exactly. improvements on everything. Exactly. Exactly. Does all this make sense? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. And I think this is important because you can pretty much, you can see where I'm going with this. That this is applicable to any skill that you want to improve. Even, oh, yeah, even, even the micro stuff, right? Like you. you were yeah. Okay. Now you're on a team. How long has that been the case? Oof, uh, I've been on this team, I think this is five months now. Okay, okay. What got you I interested in team play? Like I that. assume it was like the friend group with Siege, which just kind of translated over or what? Uh, no, so I, when I started playing Siege, I did that right. I got right. pretty good at, I got decently good at it. I was like mid to high plot. And then I started playing um, on a team there mm -hmm. and I did pretty well. And I just realized that I enjoy team play in games sure. significantly more than you know, the whole ranked mindset because yeah. the ranked mindset turns into how well can I do, which right. is great. And I, I enjoy that, you know, but it's also like, there's a lot more fun to me when it turns into what can I do to contribute to this like machine that is your team <laughs> and yeah. what are you doing specifically yeah. to like counter their machine, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And it just becomes really interesting. It's more strat strategy based, which I always liked more. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. And you've been with the team for quite a while. How often do you guys scrimmage? 
uh three to four times a week pretty consistently holy cow that's a lot for masters yeah yeah that's crazy well we're, we're pushing we're pushing high masters low gm now which is great awesome. and then i'm on a second team for two scrims a week which is a 4k team wait so how often are you yeah, scrimming a week now uh five or six holy days crap so what's your training schedule with rank then because that's a lot of scrim time well, usually I, I'm home for the summer, so I'm not yeah. doing much right now because I'm also working basically full time uh, with my dad for an internship thing. Nice. But generally, um, I'm looking at like I usually get like two or three hours of rank a day on top of that. So you've got like basically the optimal training structure, you know, a scrum block, two to three hours of rank basically every day. Yeah, pretty That's much. That's perfect. That's perfect. That that hits like the sweet spot of training time before things get you a little too tired, right? Now it might depend on yeah. how much sleep you got the night before or how intense the scrim block was or how tilted yeah, you yeah. are for the ranked, but overall I think that's okay. Now how do you, you structure nice that so training yeah. time? When do you scrim? When do you rank? Do you kinda of rank the scrim before or different times of the day um, or what? It depends. Usually I'll do my scrim and you know, during scrim you'll get some like mid map minor coaching, like oh, yeah check this out, pay attention to this, watch this, sure. whatever. And then I'll try to apply that for like probably usually an hour or two of the comp that I play afterwards. And then maybe sure. I'll play like an hour to just grind ranked. Okay. Seems fine to me. Do you have a warm up routine? Uh, usually before scrims, I'll do like 10, uh, 10 ish minutes of Vaxta, 15 minutes of Vaxta just for mechanical okay. warm up. Works for me. Yeah. I mean, and I think your training structure we'll makes run. sense. Then we'll just run 1v1s with the rest of the team for funds. The SATA lobby? Until the match starts. Yeah, there's a little yeah, that's always TX, fun. TXXX lobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, the cat here in my mouth now. <laughs> um, <that's>, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is the cat episode. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. That, that seems all fine and good to me. Um, your sleep is definitely a little bit on the lower end. I mean, 7 is fine, but 7 and 15 minutes is perfect. Um, ah, okay. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Good to know. I'll get a 15 yeah. minutes extra sleep. It's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's an underrated life hack I read somewhere on Twitter, but yeah. Um, so I'll give that one a shot. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry. X, X, it's been Oh, yeah, my bad. Not my Twitter bad. anymore. My bad. <laughs> my bad. Um, <clears throat> long term and short term goals in Overwatch from Atlanta spot in a mid high open division team. Short term hit GM4, GM3. Yeah, so right now for you, it's just to be about like what rank are you at right now? Uh, Masters 1. Masters 1. So you're working your way up, but right now it's just going to be about improving your individual rank, right? Um, as well as your stream performance. Yeah, um, and it's more so, to be clear, by the way, the, the, the whole rank goal is less so for the actual rank and more so for the, you know, you can't really get on a better team without no, having a higher no, rank. No, that's the first thing we'll always ask, up. right? Yep, mm -hmm. exactly. I mean, it makes so sense. that's kind of where that comes from. Okay. It does make sense, and I understand it, but that's where that comes from. It's not really that I, I don't particularly care what rank I end up. Yep, okay. But that's why it's a goal. Alrighty. Yep. I mean, I think I think having a rank as a goal is is helpful. I don't think obsessing over your rank is too too healthy, but I do think like at least having an average rank as a benchmark is is good, and it is a, yep. it is as close to an objective as we have in Overwatch too. So I think it's totally yep. fine. Um, okay. Let's. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot more from your form. I think your form is pretty. I don't. I don't have any other questions for you. Let's just put it that way. Do you have any other okay. questions for me? Um. No, not particularly. Okay. Well, let's. Not that I can uh, think of right now. Let's take a look at some gameplay here. You got a code or two? All right. Yeah. Here, uh, I'll drop you. This is actually from a scrim last night. Um. Uh, it is not all tracer. To be clear, it's basically it's somber tracer and sim. But I have very similar problems between somber and tracer. Yep. And the sim is we whatever. Look, I don't really have a solid tracer map because we also had a tryout in this That's game. Fine. That's so, I mean, we could we could do like a little bit of everything, you know. We could go. That would be yeah. I think that would be better, anyways. All right, works for me. Works for me. So, which one do you want to start with, Sombra Sim? You said. We'll just start with Sombra. I'm on okay. Sombra here. Sounds good. Yeah. So the play style with Sombra, the easiest way. I actually just posted something on Overwatch League Sombra and Reddit today. Um, mm -hmm. Talk about like the different types of play styles, right? Like you've got yep. your Sombra 76. You've got harassing yep. flankers. You got a shooting on the back line. Um, looking at this composition, what are you thinking here? Uh, here, my thought was this is gonna suck to dive, and where our goal here was trying to get a anti nade off on their back line if possible, mm -hmm. and then you know follow up. Go on. I mean, obviously, goal is first thing we need to die is the sim, or else we're gonna get fried. Right. Right. Okay. And then probably force ice block, maybe kill the bap. So how can you put out the most pressure? That is like, what's the most pressure that you can put out versus this composition? Or give me some options. I don't think there's any one thing. Um. My thought process here was either harass a cooldown out of the BAP um, or 
honestly, yeah, that, that was my, my best bet here personally was just harass this BAP and try to get a lamp or a burst out. Okay. What are the upsides out of your positioning right now? Um, I'm on and off angle for my team. On and off angle, on a flank, easy access to yep. BAP. Easy hack, easy yep. pressure, bingo. What are the downsides? Yep. Um, I'm going to get forced out pretty quick. Why? If, it's because they can all just look at me because they're on point, they're stacked. Well, what, is, what, would, what would allow you to stay longer? What would help you to keep your uptime higher? Um, probably if I move, for starters, if I move my translocator to this mega right here next to the elephant or just near this okay. elephant. That's a question. Because right now it's in kind of Narnia. What if um, you're here? Um, I like the position. I just don't know how well it would work because sim turrets are a thing all over point. Oh. And I have to get physically inside of the point Why? to get a hack off. To get a hack off, right. Or so to you, shoot so them. everything is about the hack. Are, are you sure you yeah. have to get inside the point to shoot them? I mean, I could. That's true. I could poke at them from this range, but I don't think I'd force anything realistically. Well, it depends on how long you poke, right? That's true. That's true. Because the benefit of this side here is. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the support LOS, yeah. Right. Now, basically, sense. would you be having easy access to hack back from here? No. Uh, no. But you would have be able to destroy turrets. You'd be able to shoot and shoot a lot. And it would take them yeah. a long time to get rid of you, if they could get rid of you at all. Yeah. And eventually true. maybe get an opportunity to hack. Whereas this yeah. angle here allows for more instant gratification, easy staging a backline, easy hack, but your downtime is going to be abom like abominable. Yeah, yeah. So do you sense. know which one makes the most sense versus this composition? Versus this comp? Uh... It's a trick question. Yeah, realistically, you want to go fast on this comp, against this comp. You don't want to give them too much time to build up. Why not? Uh, because Sim is scary. Well, what is she going to be building up off of? Uh, well, if we're poking a lot of things. But yeah, I guess that's true. Realistically, if we're not poking them, nothing builds up. Well, if, you, if your Winston's not building, not poking, that's the main yeah, exactly. thing. She has nothing to charge. Yeah, exactly. Of. Meanwhile, you yeah. guys are getting opportunities for hacks. You guys are getting opportunities for nades. And old economy-wise, you guys should be generally better. Um, yeah, yeah. My point here is that they do have ways of clearing you out. Like, they can shoot you, right? Um, yeah, yeah. So it might be hard to Sombra 76, but also they have ways to quickly clear you if you go for the backline as well. There's nothing you can really instantly assassinate in the backline. So you yeah. might need to... It depends, right? So here's a question for you. When would you want to 100% stage for a hack on the BAP? If we're gonna go for a dive on him. Okay, when would you want to go for a hard dive on the BAP? Immediately. If he's if he is split or down like sure. cool down. Here's a question. We're thinking only about neutral fight. What mm -hmm. about ultimates? Oh uh, yeah, if we have nano or right. MP. Nano, primal, EMP, EMP. something like that. Yeah. It makes no sense to Summer 76 if you're just gonna one shot this guy, right? Go for the yeah, manual yeah. hack instead. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, what if you didn't have those ultimates? What if you had like a rally or what if they had, uh, you know, a beat or something? And then you might want to go back to Summer 76. So my point being yeah. here is this is a you we've opened Pandora's box, which is somber play. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of nuance to figure out. But at the very least, I want you to be thinking that I need to go for backline, I need to hack backline. Yes and no. Depends. Yeah. It depends. All right. So let's uh, let's take a look here. We were talking Cause, about cause, staging because you're not doing any damage right I'm now. I'm doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You see, which I shouldn't. Yeah. Well, and, and yeah. it's not necessarily bad if, if but it, the basically for this play to work, you need to hit a nade, Winston dive, tracer dive, one shot. And if this doesn't yeah. work, then you guys will have lost this fight because either your Winston will die for that, or you will do zero pressure and they'll have all the cooldowns. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there is one of these moments. There's something really funny. Oh, he died. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's more on your Winston and less on you, but it's, it, it, mm. it raises some questions, right? Yeah. I like the cover usage. That's going to increase your uptime significantly as well. Yeah, this fight's lost. Yeah. So one one of the things about like about. team play reviews is we're going to be talking a lot about you, but also a lot about your team as opposed to rank. Mm. Um, but just good yeah. to kind of keep in mind. Now, here's another question. If you guys were to, if you were to, like, let's say, position 76 style here, where would you have your translocator? Uh, probably either up with my supports. The only risk of that is if they TP, so maybe the mega bottom right. 
Yeah, somewhere, somewhere closer though. You kind of see what I'm saying? Yeah. So oh like, yeah, absolutely. You don't you don't need yeah. to be like super super far away because you got your supports to worry about. You could even do like I know there's the, you, I'm not sure if you heard the Questron guy and he likes to hold his strands of cage mm -hmm. sometimes when he's doing this right. Yeah. So if he gets pushed, he throws it. If he doesn't get pushed, he still has it right. So um, yeah, it's an option. You guys go loose here. I think that's a good swap. I didn't want him to jump. Further. That's why I went for the hack there. Yeah. Kind of meaningless pr pressure, though, to be honest with you, though. Um, uh, yeah. I was it, kind of... Ho he, he uses shift. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Correct, right? correct. But when's the best time to force yeah. a shift? Uh, when my team's engaging. When your team's at, looking to engage. Like, so maybe even if you want to go first, like, you want to hack first and then engage off of that, that's not yeah. always a timing, but that's fine. But the problem is, is that you're still a good second too early, right? Um, you kind of want to be waiting just a little bit longer here so that when the fight starts... You're not out. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. It's okay to open fights this summer sometimes, but you want to be opening them briefly before because that's that's the difference between you know you're being able to follow up on the dive and you're not being able to follow up on the dive. You're once instead. Oh, this no, yeah, this is there's a there's a reference for this. Our Ana, who is uh, he he coaches some like uh, higher level teams. He was filling because uh, our flex support threw out his shoulder, but he said uh, big nade here because his nade hit the teleporter and he saw the hit marker oh. <laughs> and it hit literally no one oh no <laughs> so he jumps in thinking there's something anti and there was in fact nothing there what's your mistake here uh, i did not need to go for a hack there at all i should have just got wrapped around the left and shot at something you need to go for the hack i should have just shot at something though I Esky. think, like, in the back line, Shoot. instead of shooting the tank. Right here, right here. You see this? Yeah. Just Esky, hold yep. this angle here. Just put out constant pressure. Put out constant mm -hmm. pressure. You see an opportunity to go deeper in the back line next time? Because I thought for sure your Winston was dead, but he's not. So, yeah. okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take it, right? But mm -hmm. don't. there's no need for you to be pressing W key into this composition, right? Oh, you yeah, should transgate yeah. it out. I mean, yeah, but you also should not have been in the middle of the enemy tire enemy team. Yeah, that's true. Keep a distance. I think people underestimate how much range this hero has. Uh, in reality, yeah. the only thing that you should be worrying about is the main right click at that point. Yeah. No. Pincer. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if your team's going to be pushing here, what could you do? Yeah, I push her on the back. Look for Push her on the back. Out. Go hunt May. Her, her yeah. hunt and harass May. Or provide what we used to call a cut. Where it's like you yeah. pincer from, if we guys keep pushing, you can cut off the bat loosers. Now, obviously, they push back in with shatter, which is like, hey, hey, you know, maybe we weren't expecting that. But, but, but even like, even without that, that's that's not acceptable. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, let's keep going. Moira, Moira is the solution to all all of uh, humanity's struggles. This, this translocator is a little close. Like, if you were to go for backline and live on their backline, where would you want your translocator to be? Um, probably on their mega in the back right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Either here. Yeah, or there, yeah. Or here, just to create a little bit of distance. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. This, 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 this translocator makes no sense. Either you want it inside your own backline so you can summon 76 faster, or you want it deeper in their backline. Not deeper, but, like, a little bit hidier. <laughs> yeah, More yeah. hidden. <laughs> All right. All right. Who are we gonna one shot? Bap. Well, no, actually, it was Lucio because he had. Or no, wait, was it Lucio? I don't remember who the calm was. We were going for something. You guys might have tracked Probably B. Probably Lucio but... since I'm pinging him. I think yeah. we tracked B, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are dying too fast. He doesn't even have time to beat. Oh, man. He said he was ready, to yeah. be clear. And oh, I counted yeah. that 3 2 1. I 3 2 1 that too. Uh, all right. Well, well just the good news is that the EMP was really good. The angle that you have right now is really good. Just keep shooting, right? Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Keep shooting. Ah, you're doing it though. Do you see it? Do you see I it? I did W. Yeah, I you W'd. W'd in. Oh, man. You W'd. This is because, yeah. because you could sit here and then then you can go like you know oh shoot shoot. shoot I could shoot, just shoot, shoot, literally back, back, chill. Back, shoot, yeah, shoot, I shoot, have shoot. no reason to so walk in. So much there. more damage, right? Oh, that's so bad. Yeah, that's okay. That's yeah. okay. We've spot. So is that all the Sombra? Mm -hmm. Uh, for this map, yeah. Okay, so I I did play Tracer here. Sombra. Don't what's a, double what, key. What's, what's a, okay, so avoid yeah, the no. W key when off angle shooting. Yeah. One other, maybe not even Basically, a like, use the range. Like, use right. range. But yeah. yeah. Find the balance between 
hard stage backline versus Sombra 76. And the really big brain thing is that you can actually Sombra 76 versus even some, like, like if they had a Hanzo instead of Symmetra, you could still Sombra mm -hmm. 76 if you could find an off angle where the, Sombra, the, the Hanzo can't peek you. Yeah. That's where you start to get really big brain. Like you take an, mm -hmm. uh, a long sight line where the one range hero can't see you. So um, this happens all the time. Like, for example, watch point Gibraltar first point, you know? Where like yeah, yeah. They, they're all on the high ground and you're attacking on Sombra and you sit underneath their high ground near where the cart is and just shoot the Winston yeah. cart. Like there's all sorts of ways of exploding that. But yeah, okay. Like I said, a yeah. little bit of a Pandora's box there, but some details to think about. Let's uh, let's move on to Tracer. Any questions so yeah. far? Uh, no, actually, it's been really okay. Helpful. Tracer, let's take a look. Why are you playing Tracer in this composition? Uh, because if they run on run us down or dive us, we kind of explode. Okay, so what is your job? So we need to uh, slow down their rotates and slow down their backline enough to where they can't dive with a backline supporting them. Okay, so what? Let me ask you. Or a deny their Sombra Tracer setups. Uh, yeah, I was gonna that's say that's probably option. the easiest yeah. option. Why? Yeah, uh, because it's easier to fight a Sombra and or Tracer sure. than a, on a Brig. Sure, sure, exactly. Well, they're all they're just more accessible a lot of the time. Yeah. Here's another question as well: Who wins the duel? The tracer with a Zen pocket or a tracer with an on a pocket? The tracer with a Zen pocket. You kind of see what I'm saying, right? Now, that's yeah. a very simplistic way of looking at it, but if that mm -hmm. is ever a factor, that is something to consider. So, the yeah. best way to protect your backline is to make sure that the backline, your backline only has to worry about Winston. Yeah, exactly. Only one angle, no off angles because mm -hmm. my tracer is guarding the flank. Now, you're never going to be able to do that perfectly. Never. Yeah. But that's the goal. All right. So let's see. So with Tracer, it's always either taking an angle and winning the angle or taking an angle and making sure the enemy team doesn't win the angle. Because, like, here's a question. Yeah. What if the compositions were flip-flopped? You'd still be doing this, right? Yeah, you just want to get but, the Tracer out but of you'd the angle so you kill, can kill. You're right. Yeah. You'd want to win the Tracer duel so that you could go for backline, right? So, you yeah. know, that's kind of like what we're looking at here. So you either take the angle and use it to kill the backline or you take the angle and make sure the enemy team doesn't use it. Little micro here, by the way. Mm -hmm. What should you do right now? Uh, after he shoots. Oh, yeah. I should swing that because he stopped shooting. Yeah, you should swing that. He stopped uh, shooting. So he's yeah. at a disadvantage. He's on a reload here. You have a free advantage to be able to take ch chunks of his HP out, which is going to force yeah. him to grab what? Oh, he already grabbed it. Oh, he's Yeah, he already grabbed it. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. Right. It's little uh, things like yeah. this that you're going to need to try to work at. Just little details, right? That will mm -hmm. give you advantage yeah. because that's going to force... The brig to pack him. Okay, brig packs yeah. him once. What is that going to mean for the rest of the fight? Well, let's see what we're doing with brig packs right now. Yeah. Okay, we're going to be down to one pack, right? So, yeah, so you know, bad. little yeah. little advantages like that, and then you could peek here, get get support from your from your Zen. Um, just the fact, by the way, that you're here and this tracer is stuck here and the supports are here. This is a means huge I'm doing what I need to be doing, yeah. win for your team. I mean, look at this time. I mean, look at look at this Winston. This one's I'm I'm going to predict this Winston dies very quickly. Yeah. Oh my God! His HP, Jesus Christ! Right? Did he get? Right. Did he get Sojourn headshotted? Like, how does his HP disappear like that? That's insane. Because everybody and their mother is looking at him before yeah, the fight starts, fair, yeah. right? Yeah. He doesn't even know. He doesn't get Sojourn. Oh, he got Zen right click. He got Zen right click. right click. But here's a question: yeah. Where is the somber distraction? Where is the anti nade distraction? Yeah, it's they, terrible, they can't, right? Yeah. And with all due respect, to the somber, but it's a terrible play by the somber. Like, come on, man. Like, what? Hey, hey man, she hacked the she hacked her mantra. I mean, it's terrible, yeah. right? So what would be the play for the Sombra? Uh, either help the Tracer win this 1v1 on the right side or probably rotate all the way around yep. main and yep. get behind them. Yep, yep, yep. You could rotate through here and maybe try to sneak yeah. through this way. But yeah, or win mm -hmm. the 2v1 on you. And then, yeah. and then just win the 2v1, force you over here. Now, all of a sudden, this Tracer can go here and double blink in. You see that? Yeah. They won't ever be able mm -hmm. to completely remove you from the flank unless they kill you. But if they force you to go mm -hmm. a little bit closer to your team, now that Tracer can actually like double blink in. Um, but yeah. yeah. So for you, <laughs> you ever heard of the term trigger discipline? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> to be right. fair, this is this is this scrim was 30 minutes after I got home from vacation, so mm. my micro is going to be a little bit whack. All I'm hearing is excuses. Okay. Yeah. Have you not performed no, that was perfectly every perfect single play? Then you know you should be. Ashamed yeah. Of yeah. Ah! Get the mega. I was trying. That's why I went for that blink. I just, yeah. Here's another question too. I know you mm. you forced the tracer here. Okay, so you so you had to clear out a little bit. All right. 
Yeah. I don't see the urgency using this blink here. Yeah, that's true. You're down to one blink. You don't even have a blink now. Yeah. So just just chill. Just chill. You know? Blink, yeah. walk, then just walk. I don't want you just flippantly using that last blink. You know what I'm saying? Because um, that's yeah, kind of the true. reason why you end up losing this mega. Because you've used your last blink there. Yeah. I mean, this is... I mean, besides that, I mean, yeah. Obviously, that's good. You know, so, get rolled, nerds. Got Zen Orbs, so you can keep poking. Tracer damage on Winston is obviously like really good if you can get it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to getting it a lot in this map, but if, if it's there, yeah. it's there. Yeah, I usually am able to get some, but. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I appreciate your respect here. Because you're like, oh, shoot, 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 but. You know, backline doesn't can't pocket you, so if you get cleared out here, it's like really, really bad. Yeah. Uh, whoops. Now, one thing I would note here is the enemy team has gotten ticked off. They've adjusted. What are they adjusted? You see mm -hmm. it? Yeah, I see it. The summer's in our back line. The monkey set up. Tracer setting up for our left. Yeah. Mm -hmm, they just mm -hmm. ignored this right side. Mm -hmm. Which I think is when I started going for back line. Instead. Right. I think right. That's so and that's, and that's a solution, right? Because here's the thing. If they find a way to rotate and avoid you, and you can match it or mark it safely, then go for it, right? That being said, do you even need to on this map? No, because if they're back I mean, look at this. Look at this moron, right? Yeah. What are you going to do? Blink yeah, it's the blink tank? on the main. Right, yeah. it's terrible, right? So then you just like, all right, fine. This side of the map is mine. Now I go for your backline, deny on, on an A, deny packs, whatever, distract, healing and damage. That's fine too. Yeah. And I think this is definitely the player. I, I wouldn't want you to go frontline with your tank to mark elsewhere, right? Or yeah, just sit inside I your own backline. Yeah, didn't like that option either. And it's still not working, right? You see, they're still failing on these Yeah. Times. Oh, Micro. they fucked this up. I don't know how they fucked that up, but they fucked that up. I fucked that up. I don't know how I fucked that up. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Micro issues, but the play that you're, you're, you're doing is fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. I did not even see that guy. Jesus Christ. Uh, honestly, I thought he was meleeable. So I went for that, and I get did I should have just blinked melee recalled there, I think. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. I mean, dying with two blinks and a recall is, is something else, so. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Yep. Keep shooting. Huge, huge, huge value. It's a crime yeah. that your surgeon died, but still huge value. Yeah, it took A's to try out. This is fine. Good. Handle those situations where you blink through main to access the, an angle. Not always optimal, but when the fight's in the middle of happening, you, you kind of need to go, and so you went. Yeah. I'm very pleased that with with thing, your. Yeah. I'm very pleased with your your macro here and your positioning. I'm very disappointed okay. in your micro, but I'm very pleased with the, the the way that you're positioning. Right, you took the angle here, you clear Sombra. Sombra's gone. Then you shoot Monkey. Okay, you could have wrapped around behind and pincered from behind, but you're like the fight's going. I just want to go in with my ram, so you go in with ram, but you don't stay here. You get this gets this gets ants in the pants, right? So you blink blink yeah. out, but retaking angle with cover, and it works out really well. Now again, the micro is where you're choking. Look at this right here. Tell me what's what's the problem here. That blink was unnecessary for starters. Okay. And, and why is that a problem? Because where are you at right now? Because I'm one blink, no recall, and I'm about to engage on an auto tracer. And not only about to engage, you're about to pulse bomb, right? Yeah. You're in trouble. Right? Better better Ana yeah. sleeps, nades, you get clipped, all sorts of crap here. And the problem yeah. is, is that not only is it bad because oh it didn't work you could have been punished you did get punished because look at your response after you pull strong what's the problem now i'm gone right you, I you don't have exist, yeah. an angle but the angle is garbage right yeah. your angle on the winston maybe but you've completely like now like look at the side of the map right you didn't yeah, have that backline control from backline here. You could have blinked back to here. You Because you realized you didn't have any resources, you panic. You run to a, the first mega you see, and now you've compromised your positioning. And this could have been even worse. Yeah. You've got to play yeah, around your sense. blinks more than what you have right now. <clears throat> yep. Now, what should you do right now? Uh, Top, isn't it? Realistically? By the way, I, I, I don't think I there's a clear a option. Decent play. I went in forced point, which I think is not bad. Okay. Why? But this is bad. Why am I playing main? Why um, is forcing point not bad? Uh, because they're trying to set up a dive, and I don't have the positioning or resources I want to move towards the other side of the map right now because my team is trying to set right, up the right side. Right, so you find the next best thing. 
Can you get help point, forcing point? Which gets me halfway there. Yes. Yep. 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 The only thing you have to worry about at forcing point is Ana shooting you, but if you have a Zen Orb, you'll be fine. Yeah. So obviously here, you're like, oh, I'm marking their tank, but marking in front of them is, you know, Tracer's not built for that, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Even Overwatch League Tracers, when they're playing like Sombra Tracer Mirrors, if they're shooting tank, they're trying to avoid like the enemy Sombra, or they're trying to avoid the enemy Ana, because otherwise you will lose yeah. that trade. So, forcing point, you have yeah. a blink, thank goodness, you have a recall, you're focusing on movement, still focusing on movement, still focusing on movement, still focusing on movement, and huge flip. Right? Huge. Very, very, very good. Big mm -hmm. play. Now you take the angle. Um, I would probably here realize this fight's lost. Where should you go? Uh, stall point or set up behind them. So yeah, either hard commit on setting behind them or hard commit on going peeling back to your team and establishing a very conservative off angle that you can run away from. Mm -hmm. um, I think going into their spawn is honestly probably doable. Uh, but this I is think like, I just opted this, stall point. Yeah, I, I don't think it's worth though because you, you're gonna stall point for like a whopping one or two percent more. But then you're going to delay yeah. the next fight by one or two percent more because it's going to take you forever to stage and you're also going to yeah. die you're going to lose information i just like see right there right just yeah. what did you stop point for one percent you died for yeah it. that's it's not fine. it's not yeah working. she's a little dense but uh okay yeah now it's interesting to me that, okay, first off, we're late, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but why do you go right? Um, I don't know. Probably should have gone left. That's true. Hmm. I think sure that was just a gone default left? moment in my brain. Because um, you, you said go left. The irony is that you're like, oh, it's a default moment in my brain. But you said probably should have gone left. Was it also a default moment? <laughs> Seriously, think about it. Why well, I'm, right? I'm thinking oh, I should have go gone left to take the me mega control. Like... Force Why? this monkey out, take the mega control. Okay. Because that off angle is valuable. Okay. But... Is is this off angle not valuable to your team as well? Um I think that one's less valuable because it's harder to set up on that. There's like only one sort of line they can go through mm -hmm. versus the other side. They have access to that mega, they have more access to the map. Plus we want to control this right side, so my team's going to try to force this right side anyways, and that turns right. into main. More uh, so than an off angle. You're not going to get help from your supports no matter what side that you pick. Yeah. You could walk through main here and, you know, off angle here and blink out this direction. That would also work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I guess my point is that it, I don't really think that there is a major... To be honest with you, I really don't think any angle is really that bad right here. I don't think any okay. angle is that good. Because the reason that we like this off angle here is because your backline wanted to play here. So you off angled from yeah. here. Really, yes. really, where is your backline going to be playing here? Yeah, I, you know, you don't even know. You don't even yeah. know. It's just like whatever, and you're not going to get pocket no matter where you go. So for you, yeah. you need to be thinking 100% selfishly. What is the best off angle for me? What's going to provide me cover? What's going to give me health packs? Do I have pulse bomb? Do I want to go for on a brig? Do I want to go for monkey? It's up to you. So basically, what I'm saying here is like, mm -hmm. like, <clears throat> you know, obviously you need to be thinking about this more, but it, it doesn't matter that much. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. Because you're gonna do the Lord's work here too, right? Sombra's out. Yeah, exactly. Bit of an accident, but hey, oh, there's Tracer. Perfect. All right, Tracer's out. I would not necessarily chase this way. I, I see if she yeah. blinks out. Now what do you do? Just let her blink out. Yeah. Now what do you do? Yeah, Instead of doing this, uh, probably rotate left. You could force I'm, the monkey out. Just force monkey out. Shoot monkey. Yeah. Then if he's standard, maybe I blink out this way, force Sombra yeah. Transcare. Now I shoot Tracer from here? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit less chasing. Yep, yep, this is good, right? <laughs> Get rid of her. Oh, tight. Move, 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 move. Probably could have egoed that a teeny tiny bit more, but I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't want to risk it. Yeah, that's okay. But really good. Really, really, really good. Again, the macro is tight. You should be proud of yourself. This is good stuff. Wow. Okay. Is I always thought forward. it was the other way around. I always thought that um, at least, well, okay. my this micro is, was better than my macro. It, it might be your, the scrim, I mean, right? might be that you guys have just, you know your role in the matchup. In this particular Yeah, that's matchup. true. With uh, On Tracer specifically, I've gotten a lot of coaching on it. So maybe that is how it shows. it's ended up yeah, happening. Yeah, it, it shows. Yeah. You're making good decisions most of the time. <clears throat> Force him out. Good pulse. Just needs yeah. to hit. 
It still hits. There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> Good. Good. Nice. Now we can wrap the back on because we've cleared the angle, right? A little weird. You kind of get lost in the sauce, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. if you're not... I, I understand why you kind of abandoned this here. By the way, take a very close look at the bottom right. Do you see it? Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's a consistent theme, right? <laughs> no blinks, yeah. right? What I would do here instead is... Okay, first off, you probably shouldn't engage this at all. Maybe you just sit here and hold and wait yeah. until you get your blinks and walk, walk, walk. Maybe, maybe spawn camp this monkey, right? <clears throat> as yeah. weird as that sounds, right? Forces bubble, forces yeah, yeah. primal, right? Or if you, if let's say you did have resources here and you wanted to go for backline, you need to keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting from the single. Don't blink back into the middle of your backline, right? Hold yeah. the angle or disengage it back to controlling the space here, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. The big takeaway for you, besides the, the, the nitpicky macro that I have, is you must pay attention to your moves. You must. Good, this is good. Yeah. You guys are gonna win this round, yeah? Uh, I do believe so. Yeah, it's good. You know I mean, <laughs> was... you play, you, very, very, very strong strategic play from you uh, on Tracer. Let's uh, okay. <clears throat> let's set a goal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm, hmm. Pay attention to links <laughs> and make <clears throat> plays. Choose play style accordingly. Right. Hey, a, a wise a wise man once told me. You can't recharge a blink if you haven't used one. So that's you always true. have to be down at least one blink. Well, no, you know? and I, I think that's a pretty reasonable <laughs> habit to get into. But, you know, I think... Oh, use, no, I, use, I was joking. Yeah, 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 I was joking. Yeah. It's a shame that if you don't use three blinks that you recharge it tw three times as fast. That's the Yeah, that's strategy. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the new tech that we need in this game. Um, okay, any questions with any of that matchup at all? Uh, no, that one makes sense to me. Seemed like you knew what you're doing. Seemed like you did it pretty well. Let's uh, move on to some Symmetra. The real, um, the honestly. Oh, okay. Honestly, I have an idea. I think it might be better just because I saw how my somber was. Um, sure. And I don't know. I I feel like you can tell me what you think, but I feel like more sombra would probably be better than the, you're, you're, here. You're, you're the call. I don't give a rip. Yeah, so. I I, th I think so. Let's uh oh, go man. to this one. This one is Li Zhang. No and thinking man zero today. I guess you have to go for the stupid. Sorry, somber sorry. Play, you know. Sorry, yeah. We can't, I like we can't holding do the high IQ. Oh, jeez. All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> not, let's... not this one. Not this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm like, haha, Symmetra again. <laughs> you lose, you lose. All right. Um... I am the sim player for the team, so. Okay. Yeah. Now, same place. We right? ran the. Yeah, we ran the. Well, we ran the JQ Somber Tracer, which is why I want to look at this right. one. Right. Because I also just... feel like I did good on this one, but just judging by how the summer went that last time i don't know if this is actually okay. good or not now it's the same play style though right where you have to yes. decide if i want to go for backline if i want to go for frontline now jq implies a certain play style slightly which one uh bro mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's how does that affect your positioning in du uh, if probably, at probably well it means i have more of a safety net within my team mm -hmm. like right it's the shout I'm not is helpful about playing on my team yeah right the, sh the shout is helpful so that if you can somber 76 on an, ang on an angle within shout range it's mm -hmm. really good you don't have to always be staging for backline right yeah however can because the, will there yeah. be times where your jugger queen presses the shout presses the e and you go goes ham while you're distracting and hacking backline yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Jungle Queen is a dive tank as well as a brawl tank. Like a lot of dive. I mean, I mean, if you're running with the Ryan, it'd be the same solution, right? You could Somber 76 on an angle, like we talked about that first fight on Nepal, right? Or you can yeah. cut the back line, right? So looking at this composition right here, <clears throat> what do you think? Um, they're better at brawling than us, realistically, but they have what does that mean? timer of Bastion. Uh, if we stack and run at them and they stack and run at us, they win. Okay. But we have more opportunities to pressure them from multiple angles, and they don't really have a good way of doing that because they have very little range, realistically, between the sim so, bastion. Let me ask you a question. If your JQ walks up here, and you are here shooting, will you get yeah. value with pocket from here? 
Um, maybe it probably. Um, I want to say yes, but I feel like I could get more doing something else because. Remember, it's the, it's the upside and downside. You can get healing yeah. from here, yeah. Yeah, I can get healing from here, so I exist longer. But I feel like the damage is less important. It, it definitely is. Now, you said that these guys are better at brawling than you guys, which kind of imply that you should be sitting on backline a little bit more. But remember, yes, that's not what you're doing in this this uh, uh, this scenario, right? Yeah. You're often here. Imagine if this composition had a symmetric, or like not a symmetric, but a bastion playing an angle like this. Mm, yeah be really really hard for him to do this safely yeah that's true yeah right so you don't need to be it's not oh you guys either group or you go in the back line <clears throat> taking yeah, an angle yeah. is something that a lot of dps players can't do consistently right yeah Even symmetra yeah. has to use a cooldown to be able to do that right um and yeah. it's high risk high reward so i guess for you it's, it's like you could look at this and be like i can get more on the back line that may be true but mm. don't let that discourage you from taking sight lines and taking off angles yeah yeah that okay. aren't necessarily because again you is shout is a huge sustained thing for you too so let, let's, let's take a look here let's take a look mm. oh this this first this first death was interesting because the other thing you have to keep in mind is that you just saw it right there symmetra right clicks hurt yeah no healing we're about to i'm about to I'm about, i think i eat another one here in a second i'm gonna be real with yeah you. there you go <clears throat> yeah there you go right <laughs> oh, this is really funny. Okay, well, that's a thing. <clears throat> I don't, I don't know what he was doing. Here's what I, I would. That, I remember this specific calm was really funny. I'm like, guys, there's Sebastian here. I'm just, I think I can <laughs> just kill him. But you see, like, but I see, think I can just kill him. And but you, but, 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 it, but, but do you yeah. see, like, he's, he's my man, just take a little angle, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, this is so stupid, right? Like, but this is exactly yeah. what this is exactly what. If you were playing Sombra, you would be able to do this. Sebastian can't. So that's the difference. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. See, if I were you here. Peak thing for heals, probably. Right. Why do I translocate yeah. here, right? I'm okay. Yeah, you don't need to, yeah. I'm, I've got 104 HP. You know, maybe walk over here, get some healing. Off angle, shoot, yeah. off angle, shoot, off angle, shoot. So, like, yeah. it, 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 it's a mindset. It's not just about the, the depth of the angle dictates the play style. Mm -hmm. It's just, like, the whole mindset of, like, I'm playing for maximum upside. I get some healing. I'll go back on point. I break these turrets. I start leveraging point. Shoot, 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 bait, 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 point. Okay, yeah. they start to push me out. I get healing again. I start to shoot the Ryan. I walk back up here. Now I'm looking for a man. You kind of see what I'm saying, though, right? It's, like, just yeah. eternity living on this back line, just being an absolute ass for as long as he possibly can. And yeah. I think that you're you've got this mindset of like I go in, I hack, I go out. I go in, I hack, I go out. And I just don't think that's yeah. necessary. You can even look at it here, for example. What could you do from here? Yeah, I just exist on the right side and just, just shoot at them shoot for and like shoot and years. shoot and shoot. Reinhardt would have to physically push you out to clear you. And your jungle yeah. queen is frothing at the mouth. And Plus if you did EMP this old charge. Right. And if you did this, where would your transgator be? Uh on the mega on the right. Not even, no, no, or too behind close, too team. close, oh, too no. close. They'd, they'd kill too you. Close. They're too, they'd kill you, 100%. Okay. Then yeah, on, on the Mega in my team probably. Just right here. So then you would yeah. transicate out, but you actually wouldn't transicate out. <laughs> you transicate yeah, right back into the fight in. again, yeah. right? It's like a Genji dash or a Tracer blink at that point, right? Um, yeah. But you see what I'm saying though, right? Again, I'm not discouraging what you're doing right here, but if you're, you're going to do this right here in the way that you're doing it right here, you're going to have problems. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. You should be, you should already be leveraging point at this point in time. Yeah. And that's the problem, right? The point should be blue right now. Point should be blue right now. Or they would yeah, never push your Junker Queen in the first place. Yeah, exactly. This is the ranked Sombra experience where it's like, you know, I play with a Sombra. I never know what she's doing because she does something for like 0 0.2 seconds, screams that there's no follow up, yeah. and it does nothing for and then 25 seconds. Yeah. Long, right? <clears throat> I mean, to be fair, you, you're getting kills. I'm, you know, obviously. Oh, I don't want to talk about this one. This one was rough. I just missed, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Even no, honestly, I shouldn't have hacked. I shouldn't have hacked. I think that's actually the real thing. Okay, well, I think if I just popped out and started shooting, I would have killed it. Here's another question. Why are you ha Okay, mm -hmm. regardless of the hack or not hack, why yeah. the heck are you hacking her in front of her face? 
Yeah, that's what I'm. Make yeah, her turn yeah. around, right? Make that yeah, extra. At least, that, yeah. That's because what that does is that first off guarantees the hack, but it also gives you a 0.5 second, if if not more, ed, uh, head start, right? Yeah. Imagine what you could do with 0.5 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's yeah. see, let's see. Uh, one, two, there you go. Like, just it's an extra 30 damage, 40 damage at least, if not more. Yeah. So okay. <clears throat> The play is still fine. Like I mean, it's. You know. It was. I, I think it was a good like decision to spawn I, camper I agree, there. I just I think agree. I shouldn't have gone for no! that. No, <laughs> you're killing me. Okay. Again, mindset here. Yeah. Do you think it's likely that you're going to be able to spawn kill like again this this matcher again? Given how um, close their supports are. No. It's possible. But I think that they're going to probably have to turn around for it. It's possible, but it's not likely. So then, how do you approach this fight? Are you trying to kill the yeah. Symmetra? Hundred percent. Yeah. Yes. But no, I I want to force the bap back. Right. So so, so then so mm -hmm. then when you hack this Symmetra, are you focusing more on killing the Symmetra necessarily, or more on, on just baiting? Like right now, for example, you've seen bap ship. So what's the play? Leave. Go back to my team. Right. Leave. Six. Go back to your team. Honestly, just back away to cover. I, I basically my point is that oh, I yeah. don't want you to use your translocator if you can. I don't want you to use a yeah. transgator. Like, especially since you've already gotten the value that you need to get done, I beg you. Like, cause you, so you see that you're turning around, you keep peeking, you keep peeking, you're reloading, you're walking forward, you're walking forward. No, 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 no. It's kind of like the W key in the previous thing. You've already done yeah. your job. Go back, even re-stealth, um, and then, then you're already, guess what? Why is that important? Because what can you do now? I'm already set up for an EMP. You're right? already set up for an EMP, right? So your downtime is completely gone. You're, you're literally ready to go immediately. But what yeah. did you, what it, so it, it, as opposed to what? What is this? Like an extra half a second, three quarters of a second, one second of uptime? Yeah. At the expense of a yeah, long yeah. downtime afterwards. Yeah. And then that also gimps your EMP because it means that you know that I don't have time to wrap all the way around behind again. So I'm just going to EMP what's in front of me. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. My thought process here was we're in carry ult. If I EMP this Ryan, he should have just explode. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree. But I want you to hit more than just Ryan, right? Like, I want to hit yeah. everybody. Like, I want to hit yeah, everybody in their mother. Here, yeah. Right? So it's like, you know. And what if he didn't carry ult here? What if this Ryan didn't overextend? Then what? You know? Yeah, that's true, yeah. I wish you could see my smug face right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys have lost this fight. It's over. Wait. Oh, my gosh. The pulse <laughs> bomb. I lied. Dang it. Now you're the smug one. <laughs> Crap, I really won this fight, too. Uh, yeah, no. I botched the EMP, though. I botched the EMP. Because I see, like, windowed bash, and I'm like, oh, you guys are cooked. But Yeah. Uh, it was a little scary, but what then I realized happened? he was shooting my Ramatro. He shot at the blocking Ramatro the entire time instead of shooting at anything else uh, in the team. He wasn't even using the window. Oh, I guess he was one, so I get it. Yeah. Okay. Regardless, um, everything is about uptime. You know, everything is about yeah. uptime and about finding not just like what flank is the best flank, but even when you do go for a hard backline, like what's the what's the what's the hard flank that's gonna allow me to live the longest? Like the cover that's gonna allow me to go for the most. It's like it's it's about like quantity and quality, finding the nuance and balance of both. Right. Like right here, for example, you're trolling. You're trolling. Because if you wanted to yeah. go for this kill and make sure that you could get the kill slash burn more, you'd be like here. Yeah. You see, kind of. Oh, by the way, did you see where the? Would you see where the translocator is? Because I think that's trolling a little bit. Wait, I, 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 I'm my brain now. is like totally tunneled here. Right? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You'll, you'll see in a second. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> if, if your translocator is this close, you, you, can, I would not. Yeah. I don't know if that would even decloak here. Yeah. Because no, they, I, they I will kill just you. Done this. What I did. I should just like live. Yeah, just hide. Make them rotate a little bit further and then go for this play. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I live this, by the way. <laughs> oh, I don't live this. Well, that, <laughs> that, that answers that question simply enough. But yeah, but just keep in mind that you don't want your translocator, like, if you're, especially when you're in deep in their backline, you don't want your translocator right next to you. Because then it's like, what's the point of. How, it's like a Winston jump, but like half the distance. Yeah. Heart attack. Made it jump. Okay. Okay. Obviously, just late to the party, so I can go for a little EMP charge here. It's good. Even even there, though, you know, like why do you jump yeah, in? You close, know, because yeah. you know, because you really know that you're not going to get the kill here. So just shoot, hide, yeah. 
shoot, hide, shoot, hide, hide. Waste so much more time. Yeah, make them, build, make them force right, you out. Yeah. Build an extra 5% Oh, this is a EMP. problem I had on Tracer. Yeah. This is the same shit Travis was telling you on yeah. Tracer. Yeah. yeah, build an extra 5% EMP. Waste an extra 3 seconds. Oh my gosh, and your translocator is so <laughs> close to your farming spot. you got to create some distance. Yeah, I know. Either, either, I need a, I need it's not as important away. when you're with your team, though, because you don't need it mm -hmm. to traverse a long distance. Which, when you're yeah, going yeah. for these crazy backline things, then yeah. A little early. I don't think it was going to be follow up. Yeah. Uh, it was. It was called. I said I wanted to EMP this room, and then I asked if we're ready, and they said, ah, "Yeah." Okay. And I called well, the and then we just didn't go. I did not uh, translocate there. I think. God, I really like that health pack. Mm-hmm. Good. Lot, long time, lots of distraction, yeah. yeah. This transcade is too close. <clears throat> Probably throw it up here instead, just to make sure it's extra inaccessible, yeah. right? Makes sense. Good use of cover here, lots of distraction, lots of uptime. I would definitely not be peeking like this wide right here. That's kind of silly. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> you managed to get around the, the corridor and uh, you didn't. Thanks, Lee. Captain Mechanic saves the day. Oh yeah. My gosh, you almost got a fire strike. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, no. That's it right there. Yeah. Crap. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Before, before, because this is, this is, we lose this fight. Sure. Just watch what happens to this Rhine. Because three of us called that this Rhine was off the map. Wait. My man just lipped the edge. You don't understand how far down he was either. No way. Yeah. He like, he like, like edge the road, the freaking, yes. I've never seen that before. I was dead spectating, I was dead spectating Tempo. Tempo boops him off the map. Tempo I've says, Ryan's off the map. I say, Ryan's off the map. And then Ryan just wasn't off the map. I have never seen that before in my life. I haven't wow. either. That was like, we were convinced. Well, Wait, sorry, let's go back. No, 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 that's fine. Let's go back to the summer mm -hmm. thing. Avoid the W key, yeah. put off angle mm -hmm. shooting. Or. Yep. Or even going for spawn camp stuff, right? Yeah. I'll edit that one. Um, I'll add one more. Cryo the uptime even when on deep hills. Yeah. Locator when on backline needs to create some distance, right? <clears throat> yeah. So when you're going for the more backline deeper angle style, your locator sadly does need to be a little bit of a distance between you because otherwise it's very easy to hunt you down and kill you. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you have any questions? Uh, no. Honestly, that all makes sense. Okay. Um, in terms of the focusing on stuff in game thing, it's just kind of the just think about it at the expense of everything else, and it's okay because yep. everything else. And and, and, and cycle it like like seriously like prescribe it. You know, like once yeah. per day you take uh, your vitamin C pill, or you know, once a day you have yeah, your yeah. your positioning or corner cover usage game, and then everything else kind of lets it go. That way you can kind yeah, of. Yeah a little bit more um, intense without feeling like you're trolling the lobby. Um, yeah. It's just the one game. Okay. All right.